so now in this session we will discuss about how to write the insert procedure in database and how to call that procedure in node.js api okay so first of all for calling insert procedure in node.js api so insert procedure is nothing but the procedure which will be used to insert the records in database okay so here first of all we need to create table in mysql database and write the procedure which is used to insert the records into the table after inserting the records we have to give some proper response okay so So we have already created the table in earlier sessions. So this is employee table, EMP table, which will have three columns, EMP number, E name, salary. Okay. Now I am going to write one insert procedure. So right click on store procedure. So I am giving the name like insert underscore EMP. For this procedure, I am taking three parameters. So P underscore EMP number data type is integer. And E name data type is where care. Nothing but string. Salary integer and here I am writing small insert query like so this is the insert query okay same insert query and here we should not give the values right because we are getting parameters so these parameters only we have to give okay so same parameters I am passing here and putting p underscore okay so semicolon so this is the simple insert query okay so just execute this query and you can call this insert procedure in node api but here after inserting this after inserting, after writing insert query in this procedure, so this procedure will execute this insert query, but it won't give any response. Okay, so for our convenience, I am going to write some message like 200, that is nothing but success and sorry. Status code is 200, that is nothing but success message like success as message. Okay, so if I get message data set from this procedure, then I will assume like data is inserted into the database, I mean table. Okay. And if we want to write some more condition like so in MongoDB in node API, see uh, insert not this where it is create series here in this MongoDB API if the employee number already exists in the collection then we are giving data already exist or employee number already exist okay that type of message we are returning from uh, api okay so like that how do you give this type of validation in mysql okay so there is concept called if exist 
एम पी नंबर इक्वल टू पी अंडर स्क्वायर एम पी नंबर इफ नॉट एक्जिस्ट सो दिस एम्प्लॉय नंबर इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन एम पी टेबल देन देन ओनली वी आर इंसर्टिंग like employee number already exist so i am giving status code for 201 and message is already exist so i want to give employee number particular employee number already exist so not this concat then we have to use concat employee number already exist okay here simple if the employee number does not exist in the table then it will it will insert the record and then you will get 200 as the status code and success as the message if the employee number already exist in the table then you will get status code as 201 and message will be a particular employee number already exist okay and uh, so this is the exception handling code uh, just so if any exception comes from the database that thing also you need to bind that's why i am telling like this okay so you be concentrate on uh, binding the procedure response from the db in node api okay so if any exception comes so control will goes to exception block and you will get status code as 400 and message so that message corresponds to the exception okay so we will see one by one test cases so this is about insert procedure okay so after this you can execute that insert procedure itself here by using call statement okay so first you verify the emp table so two records are there and uh, truncate that table that means all records will be deleted and here you pass that values like 1 2 is employee number and rom employee name so execute it okay so you will get status code as 200 and message will be success okay now go to this api so this is our controller belongs to mysql okay so now i am going to write one api so router dot post so for this api i am going to give create procedure okay or uh, you can give naming convention like insert procedure so request response and here let body equal to request dot body and let params equal to body dot emp number 
body dot key name body dot cell and let call sp equal to store procedure and here set statement for each and every param emp number mark here how do you call the procedure so same statement here call insert underscore emp and pass these parameters one by one next db pool dot query and here first parameter is call sp and params result so if any error comes then we have res dot send new error response this is the response class and give status as 400 and exception message error dot message else that means if no error comes then go to the result so we have already discussed about this so the response from the db that will be exist in the parents length okay so result dot length then params only we can assume that so response is coming from db else res dot send new api response and the status is you can write or like do not five i am giving so no response from db okay here what is let response equal to result dot result of params dot length okay. so again it is uh, better to check if the response dot length greater than zero then and new api response and the status is c
only single line okay that is also stored in array okay so that i am taking first object from that array and push it into response okay now response dot i am taking status code from db and response dot message okay so we'll check npm start so we didn't write uh, try catch Your response four hundred and uh, e dot message. So. Postman and local host colon three thousand crud mysql so these are the names only yeah crud mysql and all this method and emp number. Four five E name Sai Gallery. Okay, and it is better to put the debugging, then only you can be able to understand this code. Okay, why I am writing zero. Okay, so. So I didn't put the breakpoints. So we'll see one by one. Oh, I didn't write the at the rate symbol. Stop debugging and write execute again. See this. So here, what will be the params length? Three. Okay. So see this. At zeroth position in result, so you are getting anything, nothing. Okay. So and uh, at third position, okay. See this. You are getting response status code 200 message success. It will come from DB. Okay. So this is array. Find it. So this is array. So in this array, I am taking zero at the position, which will contain status code and message. That's why I am writing here zero. Okay. This is very, very important. These two lines. Okay. So if you don't understand these two lines, then you can't write the API. So simple. Here, what will be the params length? Three. So at third position, you are getting response from DB. Okay, that too you will get that status code message response at zeroth position in third position. Okay, 
So if the response dot length greater than zero, then I am returning that status code on message. So we will check it. Three, four, five, so I thirty thousand. Okay. Now execute it. So we will test it in different cases. Okay. So here. Why I am getting this error means still debug mode is still on, but I am trying to execute it. Okay, npm start. So it will not run. Why? Because already 3000 port. So Node API it is running on 3000 port in debug mode. Again, if you are trying to execute in by using npm start on 3000 port, it will not work. Okay, so you need to stop it debug mode so if i am trying to execute it then what type of message i have to get go to the database so here emp number particular emp number already exist send it i'm not getting Not getting Yeah, three, four, five already exist. So this is uh, object, not array. That's why it is not executing. Okay. So if you remove this square brackets with zero, then this result of params dot length becomes the array. So that entire array I'm moving to response. Okay. If you put brackets including zero, then it will take one object, first object, and remove uh, moving that object into response variable. Okay, so here I am putting this condition. So this condition is not applicable for object. That's why I am not getting anything. See this employee number already exists. Okay. Suppose if I give six, then it has to be inserted. Success. Okay. So exceptions. So how do you get exception? For this, I am going to table this table here where care is five. OK, that means the employee name that will be allowed up to five characters. OK, so if I give. Set. This is five characters and uh, not including this this one asset space i am giving so three four five already exists so this exception is it is so here in this insert procedure it is con it is checking this employee number okay so i am giving another employee number now see data truncated for column e name at row one that means this exception belongs to db okay so whenever you are getting this type of exception then you need to contact with db people and send this 
exception to DB people. So they will resolve it. OK, so they come to know. So this employee number, employee name is having less size. So increase that size. Then this type of exception will not come. See, success. OK. So this is the way to write insert API. 